My name is Mark Whitfield, I'm a photographer. I shoot portraits, uh, food, interiors, and fashion. Um, since I was a little bitty boy, I've always been into trainers or sneakers, you call them. And um, in London, probably the place to go to was, was Foot Patrol. And because I'm kind of more interested in the rare, rare trainers or that certain aspects of having trainers that nobody else has got, uh, Foot Patrol was the, the, the place I would go to really. So from back in the day when it was in St Anne's Court or whatever, I used to go to Foot Patrol and then it reopened. Smiles all around and you know, lingering in Soho, you know, Foot Patrol's great. I, I just love, I think it's kind of silly to spend a load of money on trainers or sneakers that, that are uncomfortable. And for me, Air Force One is so comfortable. And you know, I like that they're, and, you know, I like that they're wide. I love that big, um, thick sole. I like the silhouette. And it seems like a, it's like a wide canvas as well. You can do a lot, a lot with it. Uh, for, for me, Air Force One has just always been my go-to shoe, you know? N7 is like, well, it's uh, hard to describe. It's N7 it's lifestyle. It's, it's kind of complex. It's about good manners. It's about style. N7 is about healthy living. N7 is about it's, it's whatever you want it to be really. Basically, N7 is my postcode, it's where I live. It's kind of a, maybe regarded as a bit of a ropey area. And so I'm kind of proud of N7 that I live there. And I'm always trying to promote N7. And so when I came to get the spokes and you were allowed to do a little bit of um, tweaking um, on it, and N7 is the thing that I get on all my bespokes. And when I made some t-shirts, I thought, yeah, let's make a t-shirt with N7 on it. And then when Instagram became big, N7 is like my hashtag, and now N7, I get people all over the world asking me what N7 is, but yeah, it's nice, it's on all my bespokes. It's... Yeah, um, it, for me it was one of those things you would see on certain websites you would see. It's all about something obscure, something that's not readily available to everybody, and I would see the Rito W or whatever, you'd see that on, on websites, it's like available only in Japan or something, so when I would go to Japan, there certain things I would seek out. And there, uh, it's like, it's, just, it's to make something that was maybe like a magic tree that you'd have in your car, but make a stylish version of a magic tree with a smell that wasn't <laughs> gross like vanilla. So it's beautiful scent, and aroma um, in a stylish product. And in Japan, they, you know, they were, it's not just for hanging in your car, it's for um, hanging in your room, maybe on door handles or sprays that you can spray on your, on your clothing and drawers to keep it fresh. And it's just like a really classy, classy, only in Japan kind of product. And so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's something I've always bought.